This is a historic and stunning turn of events, changing the race for the White House with President Biden dropping out just hours ago. And we are just weeks from the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. President Biden dropping out of the race for president and endorsing his vice president, Kamala Harris. Harris releasing a statement saying her intention is to earn and win this nomination. She does not automatically become the Democratic nominee, and the process to choose a ticket remains murky. Democratic National Committee Chairman Jamie Harrison saying, in short order, the American people will hear from the Democratic Party on next steps and the path forward for the nomination process. Biden dropping out of the race this afternoon saying, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. This decision was selfless and strong. He put the country first. Biden exits amid growing calls to step aside. It's time. It's just time to a new generation to come in. Biden's candidacy began to unravel nearly one month ago at the first presidential debate. He's, this guy told Ukraine, he told Trump, do whatever you want and do whatever you want. Days later, Biden telling ABC's George Stephanopoulos only divine intervention could get him to leave the race. It depends if, if the Lord Almighty comes out and tells me that, I might do that. He remained steadfast on the campaign trail. If you're going to drop out, what are you going to do? Well, here's my answer. I am running and going to win again. The Republican Party already narrowing attacks on Harris, releasing this video. If you ever wondered how Joe Biden could get the border so screwed up, remember, he had help. For how this is all going to work campaign-wise, a source tells ABC News the Biden campaign now becomes the Harris campaign. The entire infrastructure stays the same. It just pivots to Harris. But again, she is not the official nominee. She doesn't just become the nominee with Biden saying he endorses her. There has to be a process of some kind. We still have to see what that process is.